Uh, hi, my name's Alex Russell. Uh, I play Matt in Chronicle, which is about three young guys that uh, discover something and develop telekinesis. Check out this clip. Ich denke, das solltest du filmen. Ching 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 and the bubble. Yeah, the bling the bling wanna make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Ich mach's nicht, komm schon. Alter, ich will das nicht. Okay, bereit? Okay, jetzt mach. Aber erst auf drei. Ja, versprochen. Ah! Oh Scheiße. Kamera läuft. Ich hole mir den Kaugummi aus seinem Mund. <laughs> now I'm going to show you some of my favorite films. Goodwill Hunting. This uh, this has been one of my favorite films. It's uh, helped me get through boarding school, actually. So the film I want to talk about quickly is uh, Taxi Driver, because we were talking about something that is a classic that I actually don't don't love and Robert De Niro is like one of my favorite actors and I love him and I just don't I don't think Taxi Driver is amazing I think it's like a good movie I just don't it's just I don't know I, it, I'm, I'm not as mad about it as everybody else is so again I'm admitting that it's a big faux pas <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get in trouble everyone's gonna say what are you crazy I'm in trouble now uh, one more Okay, Dog Day Afternoon, Al Pacino. Now, I love Al Pacino, but his younger work is like a huge inspiration to me as an actor. I love this film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a must for anybody. Okay, so Braveheart. I know, typical, everyone says Braveheart. That's on everyone's list. But this has been an inspiration to me since I was a kid. Um, it's probably been my favorite movie since I was like eight years old or something. Um, yeah, this is the man. Did you ever try to reenact some of the scenes? I love you. Always have. Something like that. <laughs> Chopper, about Mark Brandon Chopper Reed, one of the most notorious criminals in Australian history. This is one of the best Australian films around. Um, an amazing performance by Eric Banner. It's, it's probably one of his best performances. This is a big inspiration for me as well. So there's like a selection of like 15 Jean-Claude Van Damme movies here. Uh, I don't know if they have Bloodsport or something. Is Bloodsport, is that one of them? Anyway, I never saw that film, but the movie Street Fighter, they do not have. And as a, as a kid, that was like my favorite movie. So before I was sort of introduced to Chekhov and Shakespeare and all that kind of jazz. Being like Jean-Claude Van Damme and having big muscles was like my main incentive to want to be an actor. And I'm going to admit that. <laughs> but no street fighter, no street fighter. I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm very disappointed. Okay. And I think a lot of people feel like, so this is The Patriot with Mel Gibson. And I don't know why, but a lot of people don't get as excited about this film as I do. Um, I, I, there's just something about it. There's so much heart in his performance. Um, I know I'm, I mean, I'm already a big fan and Braveheart since I was a kid, but always watching this with my family again. We watch a lot of movies together and with my brother. Just It's like, a tr again, like a, one of those movies that's like a tradition. And there's the one scene in it, and it's the scene at the beginning when everything's falling apart and his son is killed and he like runs through the woods with his two little boys and they take down like a whole um they take down like a whole um group of the the english uh, redcoats and it's just like incredible filmmaking so yeah another one for mel michael c hall in dexter this is like my favorite TV show. This is incredible. And I, and I don't feel like, I mean, it's, it's been hugely successful, but I feel like it's not as widely known as I would like it to be. And um, he's incredible. This is like, this guy's a huge influence on me. Massive. Yeah. Please watch the show. Really is great. Yeah, he's amazing, amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, so here uh, in Germany, it's called No Panic. 
Um, but I've always known it as the ref. Uh, Dennis Leary, Judy Davis, Kevin Spacey. And this is like a fractured Christmas tale. And uh, it's every single year my family and I get together and watch this movie. It's like a, it's like a tradition of ours. So Ma, look, I'm promoting. No panic, no panic. And where is it? Oh, here it is. Shut oh. Shutter Island. I think that this is one of the best films of the last five years, but very controversial. Some people don't like it. I love it. And over here. Uh, Singing in the Rain. I actually played uh, Cosmo Brown in a music theater when I was like 15 years old and fell in love with it. And I got very sad because he passed away before I ever got to meet him. So, one of my heroes. Well, I hope that you found some of my taste in movies and TV interesting. And, oh, actually, uh, one more. This is one of my favorite comedies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. This is my telekinesis, by the way. And uh, if you want to check out more on Chronicle, go to Movie Pilot, and the film comes out 19 April. Thank you.